I'm a big fan of the movie uh, from 1987. The movie, planes, trains, and automobiles. Uh, and I really like John Candy. I like, I like me. But his character, Del Griffith, uh, there's something a little fake about that character. I mean, it's a great character, and I love the character as well. But there's something a little... It's, I, just, I, I, I just never understood the guy... All right, the guy is homeless. He has no home, no house, no... No, he has no house, no uh, rental, no apartment, nowhere, nowhere permanent. He just drifts around the country, uh, riding public transportation, and the only money he has is from selling shower curtain rings. I sell shower curtain rings. That's what he does. He's a traveling salesman selling shower curtain rings. That's the sole source of income. And the man goes around in taxis. All right, he's paying for taxis. He's flying on planes, which is not cheap. Uh, and he's riding on trains and buses. All these things obviously take fare. Uh, and none of them are, are cheap. So I guess my question is, how in the hell is he paying for all this stuff when all he's doing is selling, selling shower curtain rings? Shower curtain rings. All right. They're not expensive. They're, 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 just, they're just rings that you hang your shower curtain on. And, uh, you know, there's they're the shower curtain rings. He has uh, a bunch of, looks like they're all plastic, except one might be made of... of uh, aluminum some kind of metal but uh he, and he claims that they're the very best but <laughs> even the very best shower curtain rings are gonna <laughs> you can't make a lot of money off of them even the best one you, your your average shower curtain ring is gonna run i don't know what do you need a set of 10 maybe 10 or 12 f per shower uh and a packet pack of 10 or 12 shower curtain rings is gonna run and I know this is 1987, but in today's dollars, they probably run for, <laughs> I don't know, three, four, five dollars, maybe six, I don't know, something, something like that. Uh, but in the, in the course of a day, you might make one sale, maybe two. Uh, and I guess the guy is selling to motels, hotels. I called the Braidwood Inn. I know the manager pretty well. I sold him some rings for his curtains. Uh, businesses. Uh, I don't know what business would have fucking showers in them aside from hotels, motels, and maybe some gyms. But uh, he, even if he had, you know, if he has one sale, and he's selling to a motel, and the mo you know, I mean, look at the motel he, he's claiming. He, he, they go to this uh, this this dirt shit podunk middle of nowhere hotel. Uh, uh, I mean, it's not middle of nowhere, but it, it's a shitty hotel. Like you know, look at that thing; it's a piece of shit. And he's selling to this guy. Evening, guys. So, a particular motel looks like it might have 20 rooms, maybe 30. And uh, maybe if he's jacking the price up a bit for the con convenience of showing up with the shower curtain rings. And, uh, and, and by the way, my God, uh, I don't know how he's lugging all these things around. He has a huge luggage case. But, uh, I mean, to have several different models of shower curtain rings and then you have to <laughs> sell them, you know, if you're selling them in bulk. But anyway, he goes to this piece of shit hotel, motel, piece of shit motel, and the goofy guy is running it. And he, this, this guy's going to, you know, this guy's not buying the best shower curtain rings. He's buying the cheap plastic ones. As a matter of fact, the scene here shows you the cheap plastic shower curtain rings that this motel manager has hung on his shower they can't go for more than, I would say, uh, $4 a pack. And if he has 30 rooms, that's, I don't know, what's four times, 120? I, I fucked up. No, 120 bucks. 
so it's like one sale but yeah i guess maybe you know but you, he he could use that to get around on a taxi but that's not even enough for plane fare or or train fare uh get around in a taxi but then he still has to has to you know use that he's got to use that money for transportation uh to to get to the next place he's got to use that money uh to to sleep somewhere in a motel uh he's got to use that money to uh, to pay for his food or whatever where the hell he's eating and he can't just you know I guess he could buy food and cook it at the motel but then you're paying more for the motel or he's eating out and that's more expensive uh, so unless this guy's making a sale every damn day in shower curtain rings and god damn it how often is there a need for shower curtain rings how often do your shower curtain rings uh, like in any given establishment wear out then you have to get them those damn things last for years and years so i don't know how he's finding all these clients to, sh to sell his shower curtain rings to so he he's not going to be making sales every day my god i don't, I don't know he, he might make one sale uh, every week or two or maybe one a month my god how are you selling these things my god anyway i i don't see i don't see how del griffith gets around and supports himself being homeless and having to pay for all these trains and planes and automobiles and and buses and whatnot renting out rooms and feeding himself buying food now selling shower curtain rings i don't know maybe that's part of the joke of the movie maybe that uh maybe that was the uh producer or director's or writer's little joke <laughs> how the fuck you survive on that no fuck Anyway, that's my thought for the day. Have a good evening. The Door to Forever. 17 short stories of the dark, the thrilling, and the mysterious. That is the candle to light you to bed. And this is the cutter come to 